Hello, my name is Dan Thomas and I am the Director of Education Research Techniques. This is Easier, Practical Applications of Machine Learning Algorithm in R. And we are in Unit 4, Lesson 4 here, and we've been dealing with classifications for this particular unit. And so now we're going to learn how to use the JRIP algorithm for developing a model as well as for testing the model. So let's go ahead and move to RStudio. So I'm inside RStudio and you can see my code is up here in the upper left hand corner like normal. So right here we're going to put this in line two we're going to set our seed to 10 like always and then in uh line number three we're going to run our algorithm now you have to understand that the function we're going to use is called jrip this is from the r weka package so again you need to make sure that you run the packages that are available in 4-2 they're all right here because the r weka is what we're going to use right here to 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 use the function called jrip and so you can see right here in line three that <clears throat> I have the JRIP algorithm and we're trying to determine if they're married or not based on these following uh, independent variables here that we've talked about in the past. Now we're going to save it also as males.jrip. So I'm going to run this like so. And now in line five, we're just going to see what the results are. So <clears throat> here is the output, excuse me. You can see right here. And so here's kind of how it works. You can see that at the bottom is if we have 10 rules here. So it looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then oh, all 10 here. So it's 10. Well, we're gonna trust it because it looks like there's 10 because it says so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Yeah, 10. All right. So here's how this works. Let's take this first line right here and just kind of go through it. So. If the industry is manufacturing and the person has more than 10, year, 10 years of school and more than eight years or equal to eight years of experience, then they are married. And so here we have the number that are classified correctly, 209, and the number that are in class, classified incorrectly. And so after that, you put else. If they have, if their experience is seven, equal to or greater than seven years of experience and their ethnicity is other, and their occupation is craftsman, comma, foreman, and kindred, then they are married. And this time, the rule classified 124 people correctly and incor incorrectly classified 40 people. And we can continue to go down the list, et cetera, et cetera. But that is what's happening uh, in this particular algorithm. It made these 10 rules to classify all the people. Now, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna see, well, how accurate was it? So in line seven, we use our summary function on the, the object we created called males underscore jrip and we see right here here's the output you see correctly classified about 69 percent so that means incorrectly classified about 30 percent the cap is 0.35 which you know is not that great and then we have the mean absolute error and other metrics here now at the bottom you can see the confusion matrix 1022 people were correctly classified as no 4000 or excuse me 491 were correctly classified as yes they are married and then we have our type one and type two areas on the opposite diagonal. So with all this information that we now have, we can now take the model that we made, which is not that great, but we're just practicing here. We're gonna take the model that we made and we're going to use it on the test data. So here in line nine, I'm going to set my seed again. And now I'm going to create a new, uh, a new object called test model. And we're going to use the predict function like we did in the past with the males underscore JRIP model that we just created using our new data set called testing. And now we just make the confusion matrix like before. And you can see there, 561 were correctly classified as no, 275 were correctly classified as yes. And then we have our type one and type two errors. And then we can check our accuracy in line 13 using the mean function like so. So you can see just about 64%. Again, there's always a drop off when you go from training to test, but you know, 5% drop, you know, depending on the context, that's not too bad. And so we can say that the model generalizes, but it's not a strong predictor of whether someone is married or not. If we wanted to try to determine how to improve the model, we could look at additional metrics. We might want to try adding variables, taking away variables, a larger sample, a smaller sample, you know, whatever. There are many different ways to try to improve this. But for our purposes, we understand how to use the JRIP algorithm now. We know how to interpret the rules that come from it. And we know how also to use the taste data, test data to see how it generalizes. So that was the main purpose of this video. So I hope that you were able to understand what we talked about. My name is Darren Thomas. I am the Director of Educational Research Technique. And this is easier. 
practical applications of machine learning algorithms in R. Take care.